Hey, Moondog here with a review of the Husmat Wireless Lavalier Kit. Uh, I believe it's pronounced Husmat. I could be wrong. It is spelled H-U-U-S-M-O-T. So if I am mispronouncing this and butchering the name, please let me know in the comments how to correctly pronounce this. Uh, my apologies to the Husmat company. Uh, my mispronunciation is not intentional. Anyway, these are, are a really inexpensive wireless lavalier set. Uh, which may or may not be good because I recently reviewed uh, the Sokani wireless lavalier set and that just did not work at all. Um, anyway, I have a review on that if you're interested in seeing it. Um, I'll include a link in the description. But I wanted to try out these Husmots because they are uh, less than half the price of my go-to set, which is the Rode Wireless Go, which have been great. They've been flawless and uh, I've been using them for the last uh, month and a half or so, and these are really the gold standard as far as um, vloggers are concerned in terms of uh, having a wireless microphone. Now, I wanted to try the Who's Mod because not only uh, is it less expensive than the Rode, but it comes in a set of two, which is great if you're doing some sort of interview with somebody because if you're both on camera, you know, you both can't share well, there are ways, but it's kind of awkward to share one remote um, and mic up two people. So, uh, for the for the price of one of one set of these, actually less than the price of one of these, you get two. So, but is it really a good value? It isn't if it doesn't work. So we're going to find that out today. Now, one of the things, obviously, if you since we have them side by side here, is it is uh, twice as big. So, um, you know, the road has ha has that advantage and also it has a built-in microphone which this does not it does come with uh, lavaliers those, those little wired microphones I have one on right now actually if you can see that here uh, so anyway so let's take a look at what you get inside okay so let's see what we get in the box here and this is how it came from Amazon it just came in their regular shipping box and just this case, which actually is a nice case. It's a feels it's a padded nylon uh, semi-hard case, and inside uh, we have our instruction manual. Okay, and it is in English and Chinese. Okay, so I only read English. So we have two wireless lavalier transmitters, and I'm assuming this is the receiver here. Yep. And what else do we have in here? Nothing. But let's see what we have on the other side of this kit. Okay, we have a little foam insert there and a gift card. Thanks. Uh, and please rate us. Inside this little pocket here, we have the components. So, what do we got inside here? Well, some more instructions, um, again in Chinese, oh, and in English, so, okay, so this is a connector adapter for um, TRS to TRRS, so that is, if you see the three little uh, black rings, that is uh, standard for um, uh, headphones with a mic, so for, for your phone, so this adapts uh, these, which I'm assuming then are TRS, which is um, your standard old school headphones. So they would have two rings. So this, this adapts two rings to three rings, which uh, if you want to attach this directly to your phone or similar devices, I think most laptops come in TRRS now. Uh, but most cameras are still in the old school two channel stereo TRS. Okay, what else we got in here? Okay, we have micro USB cables, three of them. Uh, and these have built in batteries, which are micro USB. So these are the charging cables and you would attach these to your phone charger or any sort of USB charger. What else do we have here? Oh, we have an adapter for if you have an iPhone. Okay. And these are static free plastic. And this is a, oh, this is an adapter, I'm assuming for your trans, for your receiver to your camera. That is a patch cable. And we have one lavalier mic. 
And this is nice, it has a screw-in type, so that's much more secure. You, you can't accidentally pull out your mic from the lavalier and you know that'll ruin your take. So you just push it in um, and then you screw it tight so that the uh, mic connection does not come loose. And actually I've had that happen before in a uh, ruined footage just because I accidentally pulled out the lavalier mic just a little bit, just enough that it caused static. So having this screw in type is a much more of a professional um, feature. And oh, there's a spare pop cover, I think, because this mic already has one. Let's see, and the last one, oh, okay, both of them come with a spare set of pop covers, or wind covers, um, but yes, so that's, there you go. So that's what you get inside the kit. So let's get this, we'll get this set up, and we're going to try, I'll show you some sample footage of it actually working. All right. We are testing out the microphone, just gently tapping it here, and gently tapping it here, and I'm also going to be, um, I'm going to be clipping the microphones onto my chest, so we can get a more realistic gauge as to the volume. Okay, this is with the microphones on my chest. Oh, you know what? I should do these one at a time so we can see um, if each of them are working. So I'm going to turn off one of them. And this is uh, transmitter B right now, and you're listening to it on my chest. And I will unhook. All right, I'm just going to stop the test. I'm going to stop the review right here because as a video producer, as a YouTuber, uh, the sound quality that I'm hearing here just is not sufficient uh, for my purposes. I'm sure these wireless mics uh, were perfectly fine for like, maybe a live performance on stage. Maybe that's what probably what they were designed for. But the sound fidelity just isn't there. I've tried it with different mics, different lavalier mics. The sound quality didn't really get any better. Now, I'm going to include a link in the video description below if you want to pick them up. Hey, you, maybe you are doing live performances on stage or you're just doing talks and just need a, a good wireless PA mic. These are perfectly fine. They're inexpensive. You get two channels, uh, two for the price of one. So, yeah. And if you have another use for this, please let me know in the comments. I'm curious. But if you're an aspiring filmmaker, aspiring YouTuber who needs a wireless microphone, I would say don't get this. Save your money, save up, and buy a Rode Wireless Go. You'll just get much better results. In either case, I hope this truncated review was helpful. And if it was, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Moondog out. Hey, if you like this video, please share it on social media. You know, Facebook, forums, MeWe, whatever platform you're on. And if you want to see more videos, check out MoondogIndustries.com.